When you think of properties in downtown Orlando, you automatically think condos and very, very old homes. Well, today I will show you a modern new home in the Hourglass District, pretty much south downtown Orlando, where you can see modern features and lakefront access. Now, let's start with today's tour. And welcome to what could be your future home. The first thing you're gonna notice is this beautiful modern door with beautiful features all throughout and the color is just a showstopper. But now let's step in into the main hall with the main foyer of this gorgeous home. The first thing you're gonna notice from this main foyer, you're gonna lead to the stairs that are gonna head over to the second floor, which we'll take a look later in the video. We also have a half bathroom with modern fixtures, quartz countertops, and even green cabinets. Who dares to put green cabinets but these guys definitely knew what they were doing then we step in into this first room personally i would say this is more of an office of a den maybe a book area where you can come sit read and enjoy a nice time out here it's not the biggest bedroom but you can still fit around a queen size but just giving you a heads up it is definitely on the smaller side in comparison to the rest of the rooms now let's tour the rest Stepping out of the bedroom, stepping back into the main foyer, we're gonna see a few things that builders usually don't do that this builder definitely took the time to do for you. The first thing is you have extra cabinets throughout the hallways with quartz and the continuation of the combination of colors with grays and green. Then you have this space where you're gonna have your kind of like your mud room we already with quartz countertops as well you have the backsplash in gray and then this door right here you will actually lead to your two car garage also with access to your water heater then to my left you're going to see this door right here just a closet for you know the downstairs uh it's pretty easy to access plus on top of that you have extra space for those Christmas trees. Now, stepping into the social areas of this home, welcome to probably the one of the most important things a home should have is a comfortable area where you can have enough room to socialize with whoever you have in your home, either your family, or if you like to entertain, have enough room for people and guests to walk around very comfortably. One of the things we wanna mention is the double high ceilings in the living space where you're gonna have, right, your entertainment section, your sectionals, your seats, right? Talk about like a movie night over here, maybe a game night. And the best thing of all is you actually have view of your backyard. We're gonna take a look in just a moment because we cannot miss the kitchen. This kitchen features waterfall countertops. You have quartz countertops, in fact, an island with plenty of cabinet space. And also important to mention that all of your stainless steel appliances are included. In this case, you have your dishwasher, range, and your fridge. With the other side of the kitchen, you have this beautiful feature where you have ceramic tile in the back of the range that's giving it that modern look. You have the combination between the white, green, and gold throughout the entire home also a couple touches of the black you also have two windows in as as a backsplash this is something that's very rare with new construction builders but these guys definitely took that extra step just to allow more natural light and just open up the space in the home right behind me you also have the pantry a very comfortable pantry with all of your shelving also installed and a few things we want to mention about this home is the fact that you have a lot of censored lights so when you move in you already have a home that is smart for you then right next to the kitchen you have a small dining area or a breakfast nook I would say it's not definitely uh, the biggest dining area I've shown this channel but something I love about this dining section besides the fact that you have a beautiful modern chandelier is the fact that you have three windows with view of your backyard so you can enjoy that lake all throughout the seasons and with all access throughout the house now let's take a look at the backyard and check out later the second floor something that is very rare with new constructions especially in downtown orlando is the lot size and this property has it all has the perfect covered lanai with enough room for you to build pools build a nice deck and best of all enjoy lakefront access throughout the entire year private view for you to enjoy this particular lake is not boater friendly but you can definitely go kayaking paddle boarding and still enjoy a beautiful relaxing time right out here with the nature that orlando has to offer now let's go back inside 
and check out the bedroom on the second floor. Now let's take a look at all of the bedrooms on the second floor. One thing we want to mention about this home is you have a combination of ceramic towel and vinyl throughout the entire property, so no carpet for you. Another thing is we have a bridge that allows for view down to your living room. Plus you have an extra window right up top so you can enjoy other views of your lake. Now this particular bedroom is my favorite just because you have, of course, lake views. These are probably one of the best rooms when they have already that amazing view. This room is very comfortable as well. You can fit a queen size bed. You also have windows on the side of the room allowing for extra natural light. Fans are also included and the closets are very comfortable. You have opening doors just like these French doors. Shelving installed also in the bedroom. Another thing we want to mention is that you have access to your HVAC system out here on the second floor. The plus of this type of closet is that they, they actually didn't take the entire closet just for the HVAC system. You actually can use it for you to actually maybe keep some things out here. Now let's take a look at the master. Finishing with this first room tucked away in a corner, we're gonna walk right across to the other side of the home, especially towards the front of the home. One thing we wanna mention is to my right side, you have a shared bathroom with double vanity sinks, quartz countertops, the green with black and gold combination of colors. You do have a tub with a backsplash in a white and black ceramic towel, all ready for you to just move in pretty much. Everything is ready. You do not have to wait for the construction time. You also don't have to wait and for any other, anything else, you just pretty much have to either finance the property or bring your cash and just move in. But we can help you with that, don't worry. Now let's step in into the primary suite of this beautiful home. The first thing we're gonna notice is that you have this wall right in the middle and you're gonna think, Gabby, what in the world is this thing? So usually you'll see something like this in some form of resource hotels where they try to elevate the experience by putting the bed right in the middle of the room. Now the fun thing about this is that right behind this wall, you actually have an extra space for you to use maybe as kind of like your nightstand or you know as maybe an area where you can just tuck away all the things you might not quite want to see as soon as you open your room. This just automatically elevates your experience in the home. It makes you feel just like a luxurious home should feel like. Not just that, but also a property that just automatically feels like a hotel. You're like you're always coming here to relax. The next thing we're gonna notice is you have a walk-in closet. Already all of your shelving installed, very comfortable as well. And also a lot of features like the lighting that automatically turn on as soon as you walk in. Then we have a half bathroom with sliding doors. This is where you're gonna have your toilet right outside of the bathroom. Something peculiar, but definitely something that you know just gives you that extra privacy when you need it. Then we actually step in into the primary bathroom with actually night features in the bottom. You actually have another closet right here with also additional light fixtures that turn on when you open it up. Barn doors giving it that modern look as well. And you have, you know, the same color combination with the gray, with the green, the gold, and the white. You also have a standing shower with extra seating where you have two features out here for you to, you know, have a wonderful time. You also do have light coming in from the window that is also in the bathroom. Now finishing with this bedroom, let's go take a look at the rest and the last bedrooms in this home. Finishing with the primary suite, we have two more bedrooms. We're, don't worry, we're almost done. These bedrooms, both of them towards the front of the home, they're gonna be very similar. This one with plenty of room for a queen size. You also do have a walk-in closet with automatically turning on lights, just like the rest of the home has those features. You also have these beautiful windows with view of the front of the home. Then we'll exit out from this bedroom and actually take a look at the laundry room, which is something that you know I always vouch for when the laundry room is on the second floor. Gives it a little bit more of a functional, you know, day to day. You don't want to be running up, up and down the stairs. You do have a sink in quartz with green cabinets and all your cabinetry space also included. And I love that they added this feature for you to, you know, decorate if you want to. Then we step out. Let's take a look at the last bedroom, guys. We did it. We made it to the last bedroom, five bedrooms in total. 
two and a half bathroom. Another very comfortable room. This one with a little bit of a smaller uh, closet per se. However, the room is still very nice, fitting around a queen size, plenty of windows for natural lights, and enough ledges for you to decorate. If you're like me and you love plants, you know that we're gonna cover all these in plants as well. But now guys, we're pretty much done with today's tour. Let's go downstairs and talk about the price and the location of this home. Thank you so much guys for watching today's tour. Today's was something special as it is very close to home, even for myself. This is located in South Downtown Orlando, specifically in our glass district. This is a brand new home built in 2023. So you know that this is a property that you're gonna be the first owner living in it. No worries about who lived in here. You're gonna inherit all the warranties and make sure that you, know, you can do as you please with the home knowing that you're the first one here. Another thing we wanna talk about, first of all, is the asking price. You wanna know how much this property would go for here in downtown Orlando. This type of property here in Orlando would go for 949,000. Yes, it is on the higher price point, but it's also considering the fact that you have lake access, especially when you have lake access, price points tends to go a little bit up. And we also saw throughout the entire property, the fact that you have a lot of really nice touches throughout the property. A lot of things that many builders won't do, including the fencing. Majority of the builders will not do fencing on your home. And with this particular builder, they actually took care of that. Plus they're including all of your light fixtures and these amazing tiles that are not quite cheap as all. And they know that you're already getting an amazing experience when you're living in this property. Talking a little bit about the lake, we're actually located in Crystal Lake. So it's actually a lake that is not quite the boater type of lake, but you can still enjoy a nice time out there with paddle board and kayaking. You do have wonderful lakes around the area in Orlando, the chain of lakes of Orlando, where you can definitely take your boat and go jet skiing or, you know, water skiing. It's a very popular sport here in the area. Another thing about this district is that that is an area that is growing like crazy. There's a lot of new commercials, restaurants, and a lot of different businesses moving into the area, specifically breweries and breweries and stuff like that that just keep the area very local. High schools are very close by. Boone High School is the, out, the one that would actually qualify for this particular home, which is a great high school, one of the best ones here in the Orlando area. You also have the airport at just 15 to 20 minutes from this location. You also have downtown Orlando at just five to 10 minutes. You probably could go walking if you wanted to. And you also do have the Disney theme parks at just 30 to 45 minutes, just depending on the traffic. You guys know Orlando is known definitely for their Disney traffic. So that's something that's gonna change day to day. But now guys, if you have any questions on how to qualify for a property like this one, do not hesitate on reaching out. We leave our number in the screen on purpose. So you can give us a call. We can cater the experience, give you and connect you to the best qualified professionals that can help you qualify for loans, qualify or maybe fix your credit or you know just get the best advice possible depending on your specific situation. We appreciate your time. Also follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, very active on Instagram, keeping you in the loop with what's going on in the market. So do not forget to reach out over there. I will definitely say hi to every single one of you guys. But other than that, thank you so much for today's tour and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.